Okay, so it seems like uh, Megan and Harry are sort of stepping on a few feet here, uh, causing causing some ruckus and bringing out the haters. You know, we've got the usual Piers Morgan, but there's a there's a another guy who's used to be a big Royal fan. He's he's not too happy about the whole situation either. So I found a little clip here. Let's have a look what he has to say about him. The Duchess of Sussex has returned to Canada a day after she and husband Prince Harry announced plans to step back from senior royal duties. Seemingly blindsided by the news, the Queen has called an urgent meeting in the hopes of finding a workable solution. So this, this surprised me, this introduction, because um, why, why is Meghan going back to Canada? Why, why isn't Archie with him? Like, did, did she sort of think... Uh, Ah, oh, well, it's only going to be a couple of days. We'll just zip over to England, grab a few things and get back to Canada. Well, you know, what's what's going on there? Who, le who leaves like a, a newborn you know, or a young baby in Canada? Like, who's looking after Archie? It's, this just doesn't make sense to me. Somebody, I'm sure somebody will leave comments below. I'm uh, misinformed here somewhere. But um, at first glance, it's like... This, this ain't going to be easy. Obviously, she's thinking we better get Archie back because it's going to take a bit of bit of time to resolve. Within days. They didn't even tell the Queen. <laughs> the front right. pages of Britain's papers reveal a seething response to the news Meghan and Harry want out. I understand that senior members of the royal family incandescent with rage, that this is a very, very serious issue, that they've chosen to go it alone. It's all pretty quick, pretty remarkable, and they are reeling here, there's no doubt about that. Royal fans are... So this is, this is John Lowry, big fan, big fan, and just, let's listen to what he has to say. Rest. You can't uh, be halfway in, halfway out. They want Frogmore Cottage, and they want to be the Duchess of um, Cornwall to pay them, and of course from the government. That's not on. It strikes a little bit of... Uh... Yikes. Yikes. It's, uh, you know, I think everyone's seen, seen John Lowry around. He's, uh, he's a big, big fan of the Royals, and if anyone was going to support Meghan, it would be him, so... For him to say that, that he's not impressed that she wants to sort of, you know, be halfway in, halfway out, you know, wants a uh, problem cottage and everything, and I'm, I'm sure he's not too impressed that they've just spent, what was it, $3 million or something renovating it, so, yikes. It strikes a little bit of uh, have your cake and eat it to me. In a mm. statement shared on their new website yesterday, the royal couple announced they were stepping back from senior royal duties and will split their time between the UK and North America. Meghan has already returned to Canada, where she and the Duke spent six weeks over Christmas. So yeah, that's confirmed again. She's going off to Canada again. So what's she, what's she think it's like a hotel, just... Walk in. Hi, Lizzie. How you going? Yeah. Yeah. What do you got me to do? Oh, no, I don't want to do that. Uh, I'll be off to Canada again. <laughs> Come up with some some good things for me to uh, promote. It's like no, it doesn't work like that. You know, you, you, it's like it's called the firm for a reason. You know, like you're like an employee. It's, it's like and uh, somebody else mentioned. I remember mentioning it's like the mafia, and then somebody else mentioned it as well. One of the raw commentators. I don't think I've recorded that, but uh, yeah. Someone's probably seen it. It's crisis management at Buckingham Palace, with the Queen calling Prince Charles and both her grandsons, Will and Harry, instructing all four households to work with the government to find a solution to what's being coined Megxit. Yeah, well, that's quite true, isn't it? Because Megxit, because Megan's off in Canada, it's like, yeah, too hard for me. Harry will sort it out. I'm off to Canada, I've got a baby to look after. It's like, you know, not very well thought out, was it? What did she think she was going to just um, waltz in? Spend, as I said, spend a couple of days and just bugger off back to Canada. Now, I don't know what she's thinking. It's, it's just ridiculous. <laughs> you know, I'm, I'm beginning to uh, to form a dislike for Megan, like the like the big royal fan John Lowry is, you know, this is just unacceptable behaviour from both of them. Questions are growing over how such an arrangement would work, 
including whether Harry and Meghan will keep their royal titles mm. and who will fund their jet-setter lifestyle. How on earth is it going to work for them to finance themselves independently? There's, there's past history with the royals doing such a thing and it's always ended in tears. Then there's the issue of security, which is currently paid by the taxpayer. But it goes into the millions when you're talking about a couple as high profile as them. They are targets. They're targets for the good people who just want to get close to them, and they're targets for the bad people who want to do some real harm to them. So, and also, what are they going to have? They're going to have an England branch, a Canada branch, uh, you know, a, a uh, Los Angeles branch. You know, Megan seems to be traveling alone now, so, you know, just going to have a security detail for her and one for Harry. And oh, Come on, this is just getting ridiculous. Deprived communities who've benefited from Prince Harry's work, hopeful he'll continue to be an influence. The fact that he took the interest in our community and was as active as it was, as he was, it just made us feel like we mattered. Wax Museum Madame Two Swords complying with the couple's wishes, removing the Sussexes from their royal family exhibit, giving them a new home in the international celebrities section. Michelle Rimmer, SBS World News. I guess that was, that was a great photo, isn't it? It's like they're looking over at the, the Queen and Prince Philip and, and um, yeah, Kate and William. And <laughs> they're over the other side. They've got the Dalai Lama in the middle there too. Looks like that's pretty cool. But, uh, yeah, that's, that is a very poignant photo right there. The distance between them, how they're going to build a bridge and, and find a solution to this. But um, also, while, while, while we're making a video here, we might as well have a look at um, have a look at what Piers Morgan's got to say. Because uh, on the Today Show, they had Piers, they had his Twitter account up, and um, I hadn't really thought about Piers. I don't really follow him on Twitter, as you can see here. I haven't got follow on there. Well, actually, I might start following him now. Let's, let's hit follow. All right. Um, so it started off, let's, let's, let's do a little timeline here. It started off uh, yesterday, or the day before, I guess, in, in England. Uh, breaking, Prince Harry and his wife Meghan are quitting the royal family. Dot, 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 dot. <laughs> there we go. So it's a famous quote from, the, from their Instagram account. And this was the uh, quote that was on the Today Show. I might just uh, zoom in a bit. Let's see, uh, see what... Probably about that size is good. Okay, it says, People say I'm too critical of Meghan Markle, but she ditched her family, ditched her dad, ditched most of her old friends, split Harry Harry from William, and has now split him from the royal family. I rest my case. <laughs> yeah, he's, he's quite a wordsmith, isn't he? But, um, I guess, this is quite entertaining. I wish I wish he'd comment on my on my threads, on my videos. He's he's, he's quite funny some of the stuff. What Megan wants, Megan gets. Yeah, it's all tongue in cheek from a lot of this stuff, surely. Ah, uh, Ben Shapiro. I think he's pretty right, right wing. Ben Shapiro. Oh, good. Uh, da -da. Let's just find that. Uh, got a bit of a, a mixture here. I think what you were on about Meghan Markle, but don't let anyone tell you she wasn't a victim of the most vicious racist and media bullying here. Grateful to them both for being so open about mental health issues, challenges. As they step back from rural life, has been painful to watch. And, and Piers' response is, oh, police. What's been painful to watch has been their observed woke hypocrisy and constant whining all on our dime. As, as I said many times, I think they've, they bring a lot of value to the royal family. I think the Queen will want want them uh, back in England. Um, what else we got here? Da -da -da. Yeah, yeah. Uh, da -da -da. How the sword is coming. There we go. What else we got? I <laughs> like this one. Uh, that's the 8th of January, was it? Okay. Statement on discussions with the Duke and Duchess of Sussex. Uh, Royal Communications discussions. Oh, no. oh, that's that famous one. At the early stages, we understand their desire to take a different approach, but these are complicated issues and will take time to work through. And Piers has uh, said he's <laughs> interpreted that as Buckingham Palace says it's complicated. Translation: The Queen's bloody furious. <laughs> oh dear. 
that it's, they just went about it wrong, didn't they? I, I'm still I'm still blindsided by the fact that Archie's in Canada still. Come on, what's going on there? Why would you leave your baby in Canada? Oh, glass of milk. Mm. Makes no sense to me. To me, that means that. Um, yep, lost my video feed. Ten minutes. Time is up again. To me, that means that she, well, well, both of them. I don't want to say she anymore. Megan married a couple. It means that they both thought they weren't going to spend too much extra time in England. Not too sure who's looking after the baby. At um, and they were just going to zip back, zip back to Canada, obviously. So <laughs> I'm just flabbergasted by that whole thing that Archie's still in Canada. I'm f oh, there you go. <laughs> Apparently, Piers Morgan's from Sussex. I'm from Sussex and prepared to step up. It's going to be the Duke of Sussex, Piers Morgan. <laughs> well, that was, wasn't that be a F you to the, to the, uh, Megan and Harry. Um, that was disgraceful. Okay, I'll agree with this one. I don't think they treated the Queen right there. And, uh, da -da -da. <laughs> Breaky. Harry and Megan have published their new rule book for the media to obey. Even Putin wouldn't try to pull a stunt like this. I fear they've both gone nuts. Let's, just, let's have a look at that. That's their new website, sussexraw.com. It's going to come up. Yeah, it looks like it will come up there. Ah, this is this is funny. The goal is to focus. Ah, let's see if we can reload it. I don't think I can pause it. It says the focus is to uh, look for things that unite us and divide us. <laughs> Actually, Piers Piers comments on that. Uh, da -da. How did you, like this is like a like they're dictating how how they're going to run things. Like is this like chicken? Like they're part of the royal family and. They're dictating how they're going to interact with the media. Let's see if the Queen signed it. Did the Queen sign it? I don't think so. Like they've been messing with the Royal Rota. They've been messing with all sorts of things here. They want to get rid of the Royal Rota. But apparently the Royal Rota, I was reading, is quite um, beneficial to them because, because uh, people that aren't part of the Royal Rota uh, just use paparazzi and everything. So. To, it sort of keeps the paparazzi in line. Um, it's like a media pool. Like people, people like you know, Woman's Day and that in Australia, they they're not part of the Royal Rotor, and they just <laughs> let's publish these paparazzi photos. You know, it doesn't matter what they are. You know, if Megan's topless, or whatever, on a beach, beautiful. It's, this will sell magazines. Let's let's publish it. Um, I'm not even going to read this. Just just I'll, I'll leave a link. Well, you see it on Pierce's. Uh, uh, web uh, Twitter account there. Oh, yeah, yeah. God, I, I sort of read through this a little bit. Engage with grassroots media organisations and young and up and coming journalists. <laughs> oh man, it's just gonna... <laughs> she's doing things her way, isn't she? I, I couldn't. I can't see how Harry would have would have. Well, I think he just goes along. I think he just goes along. I think he's a kept man at the moment. Uh, like specialist media to specific events, engagements to give greater access to their cause-driven activities, widen the spectrum of news coverage, provide access to credible media outlets. Sound a bit like Donald Trump, isn't it? It's like no, no, CNN, not going to talk to you. I'm going to talk to you. Your fake news. I'm going to talk to you. Not going to talk to you. <laughs> Imagine if Donald Trump did this. Well, he does do this, doesn't he? Provide access to credible media outlets focused on objective news reporting to cover key moments and events. Hmm, wonder if I'll get an invite. <laughs> I think it's my main focus of my channel at the moment. Continue to share information directly to the wider public via their official communications channel. Well, that sounds like Trump. Everything goes through Twitter. Goes through Twitter. Where's, where's my cap? Yeah. I'll put my, put my MAGA cap on. My prop. It. Everything's gonna go through my Twitter account. You can read it on Twitter. <laughs> it's just getting it's it's getting it's entertaining. I must admit it's entertaining. I don't think uh, this is how the way. I wonder. I wonder if this will. Wonder after the meeting with the Queen, whether this is gonna stay up. 
no longer participate in the Royal Rotor System. Yikes. And it explains what the Royal Rotor System is. The Royal Rotor was established more than 40 years ago as a way of getting UK print and media access inside access to the official engagements, which makes sense because you're not going to have like 40 news people uh, going to the same event. You know, it keeps it sort of more intimate. You know, it's only, I think it's on a rotation type basis and they, you know, they get access to the event and all the photos are shared in a media pool. Uh, under the system of rotor or pool, there you go, it gives the British media representatives the opportunity to exclusively cover an event. I now understand that they will share factual material obtained with the members of the sector who request it. The current system predates the dramatic transformation in news reporting in digital age. Blah, blah, blah. It doesn't really say the benefits, and there are benefits. I was reading up on the benefits of it. Da da da. For kind of change. Blah, blah. Wow, that's pretty. It's pretty full on. Uh, of course, going to have a social platform. Will I continue to have a social media platform? Of course, it's it's going to be like the. Uh, it's going to be even more, more about that. All right, let's go. Let's get back to Piers. He's. <laughs> Let's see what else, what else he had to say. <laughs> even Putin wouldn't, wouldn't, <laughs> even Putin wouldn't pull a stunt like this. Oh dear, leave them alone, fat boy. Is that is that is that for me? Oh my god, I feel honoured. Oh, it's for Piers. Is Piers fat? I don't think he's that fat. Uh, leave him alone, fat boy. No, she's breaking up her royal family after fleecing the public purse as a taxpayer and a moniker. So I'm entitled to take a rather dim view of this. Uh, they're saying that uh, this is one where they've just torched the UK tabloids and royal media and his replies, yep, and the shameless sport brats are going to get torched back. <laughs> oh dear. He's like a shock child. He, uh, he's, uh, he reminds me of, um, who's the guy in, who's guy in America, the tall guy? Ah, I can't remember. I've got him pictured. Long hair. Howard Stern, this guy. He reminds me of the, the, more polite version of Howard Stern. Shock Jock. Ah, the old racism card comes out again. Oh, doesn't explain why why uh, Camilla got um, grilled so much. How everyone hated Camilla was it because she's white, I guess. You know, people. This is this is what Martin Luther King uh, is a good example of what what Martin Luther King says uh, that to be judged on the content of your character, not the color of your skin. And now every time somebody's judged on the content of the character, they bring out the color of the skin. You know, it's like, come on. You know, it's it's just it irritates me sometimes when they pull out the race card when it's not even there. Ta da! It's like no, no, it's it's what you're doing. It's what you're doing, because I've, you know, everyone was big fans of Megan, now, now she's starting to do silly things. It's, people are turning on her, including myself. Jeez, <laughs> what the hell are you doing with this one? Uh, work on commercial products, explaining, make my mistake. Harry and Megan tend to make a lot of money selling commercial deals. That's fair enough. It's gonna, it's a very... But the thing is, you need to consult the Queen on this. You, you know, if you're part of the royal family, you need to consult the Queen. She's the head of the royal family. You can't just do these things on your own. Uh, da -da 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 -da. That's what power looks like. What's this Sky News break? What are they doing? Uh. <laughs> oh dear. Yeah, that's not too good. What do we got here? What's what's Piers up to now? This is only this is like one day's worth. Man, he's just gone ballistic. Jeez. Why haven't you been this vocal about Prince Andrew? Oh, what? Yeah, yeah, he was. And then saying, the saying, Buckingham Palace didn't seem dis disappointed by Andrew using his royal connections to party with Epstein. The Twitter fury is unprecedented for Meghan and Harry in a way that wasn't for Andrew. It feels so wrong because the Queen fired him. <laughs> my god haven't you been Lorraine Lorraine Candy haven't you been haven't you been listening to social media Jeez, there's every meme and 
Jake was about Prince Andrew. He even joked about him at the Golden Globe Awards. You know, he's, when uh, was it Leonardo DiCaprio? It was quite funny, and they said that um, um, once upon a time in Hollywood was so long that um, Leonardo DiCaprio's date was too old by the time it was finished. <laughs> and I said, even Prince Andrew said, "Hey, man, seriously, seriously, <laughs> you know." So, Ricky, Ricky Gervais even had a go at Prince Andrew and even mentioned uh, Epstein as well. This is, this is good. Um, and it's just, it's just tweet after tweet, Piers, man. That's a good one. He had a good one up here about, uh, he's calling them royal hustlers, that's right. Did a piece on the Queen must fire their royal hustlers. Hmm. This keeps pushing, doesn't he? He likes pushing and pushing and pushing. Pushing his point along. Pulling one to treat the queen. Ah, oh, this is the one. He must have been able to get a, a quick screen sh screenshot. The goal is... So this is on uh, the Sussex Royal website. Their new website. The goal is to focus on what connects us rather than what divides us. <laughs> I don't think the irony is lost on any of us now. Uh, yeah, the goal is on what connects us rather than what divides us. The Duke and Duchess of Sussex. Ah, it's like a Hallmark card. But in reality, they're dividing. <laughs> the current front page mission statement. So well, some things I agree with. The current front page mission statement on Meghan Harry's website. Laughy, 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 laughy. Um, yeah, it goes on about how they shouldn't be paying them a penny, etc, 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 and it looks like he got into Donald Trump there. Uh, anyway, go, go over to Piers's, uh, Piers's uh, Twitter and voice your opinion over there after you've left a comment here, if you if you don't mind. Um, what else we got here? How dare they? How dare these two self-absorbed whiny freeloaders treat the Queen like this? Who the hell do they think they are? Shameless and shameful... Well, the Queen will sort them out, that's for sure. I don't think she'll be too impressed that Meghan's over in Canada, though. It's like, the Queen's, the Queen's uh, done an emergency meeting and Meghan's skipped off to Canada. I don't think she's going to be impressed with that. Talks about racism again. Da 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 da. jeez. Oh, Man, it's just tweet after tweet, like you know, three hours ago. Okay, he's gone on about Justin Trudeau. What else has he got here? Has he given up on that? Oh, no. Still back on the Megan stuff. Far out. He's just been going and going and going. 54 minutes ago. Okay, what have I got here? As I feared, Megan and Harry's treachery have now been used to promote the end of the monarchy. This is a new editorial in Australia's most prestigious newspaper. Are the Australian here? Yeah. I have to agree with that. They're pretty. Uh, Prestigious the Australian. Um, what else we got here? Jeez, it's like every every ten minutes he's tweeting on it. So there we go. Yeah, head over to Piers. If you want to give him a piece of your mind, I'm sure he'll enjoy it. And uh, this video has been going for way too long, so uh, I'll leave it there. So uh, yeah, I'll see you next time, guys. Uh, it's just it's a, just a media circus at the moment. That everyone's got their opinions and uh, uh, definitely burning bridges as you see uh, John Lowry there his biggest supporter of Meghan and Harry just is upset that you know they seem to be half in half out of the royal family it's like make up your mind but um, uh, the thing is it's going to come down to security isn't it who's going to pay for the security now now that they're such high profile celebrities in their own right well, they, they're going to just burn through their money of security was it? I read somewhere that um, Kylie Jenner's, I think it got leaked. Was it three hundred thousand dollars a month or five hundred thousand dollars a month for security? <laughs> you go through your money pretty quick at that. It was what's it, up to six million dollars a year. Mm. Okay, I'll leave it at that, guys. Uh, I'll see you next time. We'll see what else comes up. It's like a, geez, don't know what's coming up next day. Eh? Okay, cheers. <laughs>